In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own fur or hairbrush. If you're familiar with Photoshop, you know when you cut out animals or even a face, a portrait, you know that the hair part is pretty difficult to get it perfect. So with this hair slash fur brush, you can really get awesome cutouts of your images. You can also use this for grass, for instance, when you create digital art. So it's really a cool brush to have in your Photoshop. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can create this yourself and it's pretty easy just follow my steps and you will get the same brush in photoshop so let's get into this video all right into photoshop let's start with creating a new file by pressing ctrl or command n and let's keep the width and height at 500 pixels make sure your background color is white let's create and now what i want to do is i want to take a black color and I'm just going to use a soft round brush. Let's increase the hardness a bit here and keep the opacity and flow at 100. And let's just make four dots like one, two, three, four. And now we're going to go to edit and select define brush preset. And here you can name it however you want. Press OK. And now we need to go to the settings of the brush. If you click here, we have the settings. First of all, let's go to brush tip shape and change the spacing to 1%. Then we're gonna go to shape dynamics and enable it. And let's keep the control at fade. And let's set the value of 250. And you can see here, it changed this shape. Let's now go to transfer. And here we also want to select fade. And the same goes for this one, fade. And let's keep the value at 400. And here also 400. And you can see this is our shape now. Now, once you have these settings, make sure you click here and go to new brush preset and name it however you want and click OK. Now I'm going to show you how this brush works. So for instance, you have this photo and let's first remove the background by going to select subject and then make a mask. You can see here this doesn't look right. So first of all, what you can do is click here and select a mask. Make sure you have this one selected, the second one, and then go around the edge of your animal or hair if you're using a human. Click OK. And now let's make a background here so I can see this better. Just something grayish. And then to make this better, I will create a new layer underneath my subject. And I will make sure I select the same color as the fur or the hair. It's something yellowish. And now we can use our brush that we just created. And you can see here, I can draw. I can draw these fur lines perfectly with this animal. And this also works on humans. You can also click on the mask and use a black brush to remove parts. So for instance, if you want to have it better, you can go the other way around like that. And that way you can perfectly get this fur that looks good on different, different backgrounds. So thanks for watching this video. That's pretty much it. If you want to learn more about Photoshop, make sure to check out my other videos. Until then, catch you on the next video.